Okay, so what do I have to do to prove to you that passive income is the truth? Okay, so we make 95k a year in dividends, but we also make 9300 on a given day. Why? Because the Fed reported yesterday and they reported lower than uh, expected uh, interest rate hikes. So instead of hiking 0.75, they hiked 0.25. We made constant videos about that, saying that it wouldn't affect us and our margin levels were so low anyway that uh, a 0.25 raise on the Fed funds rate wouldn't even affect our margin and go from 5 to 5.25. Um, yeah, every day I don't necessarily have a specific topic for you, okay? I mean, I'm just going into my portfolio and seeing what I'm given and hopefully you admire the numbers that I'm doing here. Okay, $413,000. I keep saying a 500k account because I'm considering losses here, considering losses and considering leverage. Okay, so I really believe I have more than a 500k account because that 200 will be mine uh, after the dividends are paid. The dividends are here, as you can see, they're about 95k a year. So if you go two years at 95k, that 200k margin is pretty much paid back. So my account value will go from 412 to 612 and my margin debt will go to zero. In a perfect world, I have to pay bills, of course. So it'll come down a lot less, uh, a lot slower than that for me. But at 5% interest, I don't care. This is just a way of life. I'll let my margin run high for a while. In a few years, that will definitely be paid back if I just stay the course. So is there anything here for us to do today? Probably not, okay? Our shorts are down, that's what we want. Okay, we have a, I have this uh, little put option in the S&P down another 16. So we've lost almost all that from yesterday. We put it on as insurance before the Fed hike. You should always put like $100 on of um, cheap put insurance if you can. The market's had a huge run. Why not put on cheap SPY insurance because those contracts were going for cheap. And I could have potentially made a thousand, or I simply lose a hundred and eighty dollars, and or what is it, a hundred and thirty dollars here. So in return for losing a hundred and thirty, I make eighty seven hundred. I mean, I'll take that trade off any day. It allows me to sleep at night, and it actually works. If the market were to tank and go the other direction, those put options would really clean up. Um, our performance, we're up 25% for the year. That's staggering versus the S&P up 7 and the NASDAQ up 13. So, yeah, maybe there's nothing for you to glean in this in this video. And there's nothing for me to teach you. And you think I'm going too fast and this is all so complicated. But it's not. I mean, look, I just buy and hold. And I collect dividends in the mail. You saw the video yesterday on us having dividend payday. So we just sit here and hold and collect the dividends. I didn't buy anything today. Feng is up 14%. Uh, that kind of bothers me um, um, because it's 100% maintenance. And I know that this is a high flyer uh, and I want to have more behind it. But it doesn't pay a dividend. So I don't like having those in my portfolio that don't pay a dividend. Um, I could sell put options on things that don't have dividends like these funds, but Fangu you cannot sell put options on. So I just simply have it as a smaller position than normal uh, because it doesn't pay a dividend and it's 100% maintenance. Go look up videos on 100% maintenance. 100% maintenance, that means $2,400 takes up $2,400 of my equity, but these above higher quality are only 0.3 maintenance. So every $1,000 I put in them, only $300 is taken up and the other... The other 70% I can go play with elsewhere and invest for a higher return. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, you've seen the videos we made on our Cornerstone funds. They're up big today, 1%, 1%. Riv and Gove, we made videos on those. Uh, we, we added the Jeppy the other day and we made a video on that. I might even add a little bit more to that as um, it's continuing to stay flat while the market... <coughs> is uh well the dow is flat as you can see above nasdaq up two s p up one what are we we're in between the nasdaq and the s p which is all we care about we don't care about the dollars get that through your head we care about the percentages and how we're dealing with the indices on a percentage basis 
when you deal with it on a percentage basis, all other things take care of themselves. The downside takes care of themselves. That's minimized because it's tied to indices. Indices only fall about 20 to 30 percent in a year, whereas a stock could fall 50 or 60 percent. So we tie all of our investments and all of our margin to the indices. And that's our secret for getting days gains just a percent. We didn't make no, we didn't. Our stock didn't go up 5 percent today. We weren't in a stock that went up 7 percent. But you have to put all your money in that stock for you to get the full 7 percent which you won't do because you could lose that money. You have to spread them and diversify. Well, when you do that, then now your percentage gains severely dwindle because not every stock in your portfolio is up 4%. One might be up one, one might be down two. So it averages out to be about what the indexes average out. So you can't beat the indexes up two and 1% over a long term. So you might as well tie your investments now to the indexes, even tie your margin to the indexes, and now you know where all your surprises come from. They come from the indexes and not a stock-specific headline surprise. That's the secret of what we do here. So there wasn't anything for I, that I can put in the title and, and get your attention with and say, oh, watch this video because uh, the market's burning and every the, the, people's hair is catching on fire and the Fed's ruining everything, all the doom and gloom videos. I'm not going to do that. I'm not like those people. I believe in consummate positivity. The market goes up 7% a year. Why wouldn't you be constantly, eternally bullish and buying all dips? I made videos on that, by the way. Check them out. Attitudes of gratitudes and how they can build you a fortune in a down market, which is exactly what it did for me. I just was been buying, buying hand over fist all these names during 20, 22 weakness. And as we got the breakout above the 200 day moving average here, which I've been showing you ad nauseum on the channel, the 200 day moving average, S&P 500. I know I said I was gonna leave the video here, but whatever, you could learn this. So S&P is breaking out. Why is it rounding out this base and breaking out? Because it just popped above its 200 day moving average, which is this orange line. So we got a big breakout here above the orange line. We've been flirting with it here, flirting with it down in the red bar here and then up, up, and then boom, big breakout after the Fed decision yesterday. And I saw all these stars aligning. You knew inflation was coming down. You knew they weren't going to raise by as much and derail the economy. You knew we're setting up above the 200 day moving average, the stock market, the S&P. So why not tie all the rest of my investments to that index? that will have similar behavior. So that's what we did. That's the secret of this channel. You have to put all your money behind things to benefit, okay, guys? And you can't do that in the stock. You can't sleep at night and the stock could burn you. You have to put them in the indexes. So when you put them in the indexes, make sure you're getting the best of both worlds, SPY or Cornerstone. Go with Cornerstone, in my opinion, because it made more than SPY over the last 10 years. The, the proof is in Morningstar. Go see that video. I will link it in the description below, but... Rather, I will not because I don't feel like it, okay? You go check out those Cornerstone videos if you feel that you want to be financially free and want to know more about you know, a four-star fund on Morningstar that beat the S&P. And if you want to know more about why I have 400 grand in this, you should probably look into those videos. Um, anyway, also comment below and tell me where I'm going wrong and tell me if you have any better strategies that could perhaps uh, best my portfolio today. So sorry for my chip on my shoulder. I'm making all this money and I don't get any views on my YouTube channels. And it doesn't bother me because I know it's algorithm based and not, you know, based on your, um, you know, true opinion, because I would think everyone's opinion would be interested in this kind of money at 36 years old. So anyway, take care, guys. Hope you subscribe. Hope you liked it. If you didn't, oh, well, I uh, hope you're liking your life. Uh, as long as you're happy in your life, that's all that matters. I'm happy being financially free, not waking up, going to a nine to five every day. I hope you are, too. If not, look into some of this stuff. Maybe. All right. Take care. Bye bye.